Uh, my question is, if the Founding Fathers could somehow see America, what is one thing you think they'd be proud of that we've overcome or that we've maintained? And what is one thing you think they'd be disappointed in? Disappointed in? Um, almost all of it. Uh, so, <laughs> but, yeah, look, I think what they would be most surprised, let me start with this. I think it's very well agreed upon, is the creation of this fourth branch of government is this unelected administrative state that came up in the Woodrow Wilson presidency of the FBI, the CIA, the Department of Justice, the EPA, this unaccountable, unelected fourth branch of government that has unlimited amounts of power, that kind of operates in total violation to the promises, the moral claims of the U.S. Constitution, the moral claims of consent of the governed. Where do they get their consent from? They just operate on their own. They always exist. The machinery grinds on. Separation of powers? Not really, because they're almost above the three branches of government. Well, the thing that really troubles me the most about the fourth branch of government is another one of the claims that Madison and Hamilton and Jay made in the Federalist Papers is checks and balances. What is the check right now against this fourth branch of government? It, almost nothing. It, it's as if now the real power is in the inner workings of these bureaucracies. One thing I think they would be really thrilled about or excited about, I think they would be shocked at how long the Constitution stood. They wrote about this in the Federalist Papers, and Thomas Jefferson basically wrote this in so many ways, he's totally misquoted and misunderstood, where people say, oh yeah, he wanted a revolution every couple of years. No, he didn't want that. What he was saying is, it, this form of government has a tendency not to last. The fact we still have the same United States Constitution that we had in 1787 and 1791 at both ratification of the Bill of Rights and the usual Constitution is unbelievable. That should make everyone pause and say, why? It's because the Constitution was not written for the times, it was written to stand the test of time. John Dewey, who's kind of the father of public education in America, said it's a new age. We have machines and airplanes and we have gas-powered engines. Humanity is entering a new era. Whereas a conservative say, whoa, 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 just because you have Twitter and you can fly across the country doesn't mean human beings radically improve. We're just as selfish and greedy and broken as we were, regardless of the technology we have. In fact, the technology only amplifies how broken we actually are. It only makes evil easier. And so I think, um, without belaboring the point, the founders, I think, would actually be stunned at how much we have screwed up and how much of a chance we still have to revive it.